So number one, explosive. Number two, frequent. I want to just mention one more thing about these two things, the explosive and frequent. Let's start with explosive. Now, a lot of my students, they hear this about explosive and then they go like, as if that was explosive. Now, that's not explosive. Explosive has to be really explosive. Like, like you suck the air out of the room. Let me give you uh, one or two illustrations. If you've ever tried to mow the lawn and you try to start the engine, or maybe um, go on a motorboat and you start the engine there with your hand and you're like pulling and it doesn't start, you pull again and it still doesn't start. And by the fourth time, you're like, and it still doesn't start. Finally, you're so frustrated that you put all of your strength into it and you pull vroom, and the engine starts. Ideally speaking, where you usually would take one breath to sing an entire sentence, you may want to work towards taking four breaths for one sentence. However, I do not recommend starting there. I do recommend that if you're new to this frequent breathing technique, I would recommend just doubling it. So if normally you take one breath for an entire sentence, try taking two. So you'll take a breath, you'll sing half the sentence, and then take another breath and sing the rest of the sentence. This is possible because your breaths are short and explosive, which means you can fit the breath anywhere. Let me give you an example. There's a song that goes something like this. I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. Now, that's, that's kind of like the traditional way. I only took one breath. I want to show you how you could take two breaths or four breaths. Okay, so... That was one breath. Let me show you how it would go if you took two breaths. I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. Right? Or let's try four breaths. I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. Right? Now, if you were really crazy, you could even go like eight breaths. I do not recommend it, but just kind of to show you how it would be possible, you could go something like this. I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. Now, no one would actually do that, but I'm just trying to show you how you can easily fit breaths inside the sentence. Now, like I said before, what I do recommend is doubling the breath. So if, so if normally you would take one breath for an entire sentence, try to take two. So I'm going to show you that one more time. I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. Total adoration unto you. Now, the observant student might be wondering why I breathed in the middle of the word. I said, a duration. A breath duration. Why didn't I say like breath adoration? Why did I breathe in the middle of the word? And this is something I would like to talk about in the next lesson. See you there.